clutch update from uh, clutch number one in 2018. We did an egg cutting video on these guys not too long ago. We start out with the normal. We have a normal female. Really, 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 pretty normal at that. All these guys in this clutch turned out really good. I'm gonna move kinda fast because I'm really tired. So that's the first one there. That was a female. Normal. We have another normal. This one here is a male. This one is not as pretty as the last normal, but it's still, you know, pretty good normal. I like how this one's kind of got like a, a granity, and the lighting in here sucks, but it's got kind of like a granity pattern on it inside its pattern. And the other one's a little more bright orange. And for some reason, that female pastel that I got, uh, the babies that she throws because it, it was the same thing with the clutch last year the pattern was really really dizzy pattern I have a a super pastel female from her and that's the reason I held her back is because the pattern was so busy alright and we ended up with a one pastel and this here is the the only one that I'm holding back out of this clutch. I uh, let my niece have one. She wrote her name on an egg and we let her keep that snake. But this here is a pastel. Oh, and the breeding was a pastel bred to a spider. We were going for bumblebees. And again, like I was saying about that pastel throws, uh, you know, snakes with real busy pattern. I mean, look how busy that pattern is on that pastel. And bright, too. I mean, bright, bright. Oh, and you got a lot of flaming on the sides. And, and uh, the eye stripes almost connect behind the head. And I remember seeing a video on YouTube, something about the eye stripes I mean I don't know if you know again probably just wishful thinking but I don't know if my female maybe has something some kind of cleaner gene or something in her I mean I don't know I bought her from a pet store and that's the downside to buying snakes from a pet store you know they're not a hundred percent on the genetics you gotta kind of breed them and figure it out okay and this one is the female spider that belongs to my niece, Rayanne. This is a Ray Ray snake. It's a female spider. I know this one's hers because of the three little dots right there on the tail. That's how I identify it. Plus, it's a only is one of the two females in the whole clutch. We ended up with two females and four males. One female spider and one female normal. But Rayanne, that's your snake. You better name it. These guys haven't eaten yet. They just shed just about three or four days ago. I've offered them food already, but they haven't, haven't taken. I'm not worried about it. They will. And this is the other spider in the clutch. This one here is a male. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. My kids are hard-headed. This is the male spider. Really, 
really, really, really, really, really spider. I like the spiders that don't have a whole lot of alien heads, and I've been really lucky that my male that I have, uh, none of his offspring have real, real busy, busy patterns, which, you know, that female, she tends to make the patterns really busy, but didn't really busy it up too bad on the spiders. That's male spider. He's available. I have a guy that's wanting him, but it's not set in stone yet, so. Okay, and now the cream of the crop. The best one in the clutch, what we were going for. Not exactly what we were going for. We wanted this in female, but it turned out to be a male, and that's a bumblebee. We only ended up hitting on one bumblebee, and it ended up being a male. And this guy's already been spoken for. I have a, uh, a bumblebee genetic stripe male. Uh, we made a video, an unboxing video of him, but I figure, you know, if I got a bumblebee male that, you know, genetic stripe, you know, I don't really need just a straight up bumblebee male. So, I, I decided to go ahead and let him go. But that's uh, clutch number one of 2018. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe.